Please welcome Karuchi Tran. <laughs> First of all, congratulations on the Emmy. But in addition to the Emmy, thank you. <laughs> it's a history-making Emmy. Girl, I, I mean, one, girl. girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> one to just to win the Emmy itself was like, I don't know, I just I downplayed it at first because I didn't think I was gonna win. I don't know, like I was just like, uh, okay. And then I won, and I was like, oh my god, and I was crying and I was emotional. And then to find out that I I am the first Asian American actress in the Emmy daytime and primetime wow. Emmys is like crazy. Like I made history and <laughs> I mean, listen, I, 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 I mean, what well, it's it's first of all, it's an accomplishment that just takes my breath away. But I remember a few years ago going to the Essence Festival in New Orleans, and I stopped in the ladies' room. And we didn't know each other. And there you were with your makeup in the bowl at <laughs> the airport. <laughs> She's doing her makeup by herself in there. And I was like, you know what? No filter, no this. She is in here doing it, hustling and trying to create something on her own. Yeah. No staff, just you and your mascara in the bowl <laughs> in the bathroom. Doing it myself. I mean, w when did you know that you wanted to be an actress? Um, I, early on in my career, I did a very small role um, for Fright Night Files on TV One. And I had one line, I was so nervous. What was the line? Um, <laughs> mm, my memory is shot. I, I don't remember. Um, Karuchi's like, I have an Emmy now. <laughs> I have scripts, I not lines. No. Um, yeah, I had this one line and, and I was super nervous, but it, it it sparked something in me, mm. you know? And so I was like, you know what? I, I'm i gonna go for this, I'm gonna try it. And so from there, I started doing the background work and started taking acting classes and media training classes and just doing the homework and, and the research to, to, to get to where I am today. Right. I think a lot of people obviously don't know that side of you. I mean, you you burst on the scenes for many for the first time, Claws. They're like, okay, Karuchi Tran can act? Yeah. Wait a minute, I've seen her on the red carpets. I know she can slay some looks, yeah. but can she act? Mm -hmm. At the same time, you were in a high profile relationship with mm -hmm. Victor Cruz, mm -hmm. an NFL star yes. at the time. Yes, yes. Um, uh, that was after. It was after. Yes. Which is a Victor's good point. Victor's more recent. <laughs> <laughs> Who like can keep year. up? You're single. <laughs> You were dating, you were out there dating, <laughs> doing what young women do. Um, but it seemed that people kept wanting to talk about the relationships. And I thought about you recently when Oprah famously told Beyonce, keep your relationships private because people will just want to ask about those things. Yes. You clearly didn't watch the Oprah show that episode. <laughs> so you were out on the red carpet. Well, you were out on the red carpet and I think is it fair to say underestimating how much people become obsessed with personal life mm -hmm. over the work you were trying to do? Right. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to keep, I'm a relationship girl, you know, so it's oh. hard to keep it private, you know, when I just want to do, be out and, and, and be in the public. But um, I did a lot of the background work to get to my career. And unfortunately, I feel like with social media, it's always about gossip and drama and who you're dating and who you're with. And um, I, I just wanted to really focus on my career and myself. And I even hit a point where I, um, I almost wanted to give up, I wanted to give up on acting. Why? Because at the time I had done like a bunch of low budget and, and independent films. And my agency at the time was like, you're not really booking much. Like, are you sure this is what you want to do? I was like, damn. <laughs> it's what I want to do? Getting these nerves. <laughs> like I'm not doing something right. <laughs> but you know, I listened to what my body was telling me. I listened to that little voice in the back of my head that said, "Don't give up. Keep, keep pushing. Yeah. Like, just keep going. I don't know. Yeah. Something just told me to keep, to keep moving yeah. forward. And and I said, you know what? I got to take it up a notch. I got to go a little bit harder. Right. So that's when at first I was taking private. Um, acting lessons and then I started taking group classes to kind of like break me out of my shell and that's when I booked Claws and that for me was a moment to like 
understand, really go for it right. and really work hard and stay focused. Because if I would have just been like, uh, I'll just keep with my private classes and I probably wouldn't have book clubs. Well, no, I think it was twofold. I mean, I, I obviously know a lot about you and, and reading and, and uh, not the gossip, but the actual <laughs> <laughs> decent articles that are out there. And I think it's also admirable how you empowered yourself to say, we can't let men define us. I remember Gabrielle Union, there was an article. And, and what I mean by that, what I mean by that, there was a post once of Gabrielle Union and someone referred to her as Dwayne Wade's wife. Yeah. And we're like, I'm sorry, she... do you not know who this is? <laughs> this is Gabrielle Union. Yes. And if it can happen to her, it can happen to anyone, it's when you introduce someone and you say, this is so-and-so's wife. Yeah. And it's like, no, he's my husband. Yeah. You know, and you have really been mindful of, as you said, you're a relationship person, mm -hmm. but not letting people define you yeah. by people that you have dated. Yeah, and they've tried over and over. Why do um, you think people keep trying to do that? I don't know. Because you got an Emmy and you're doing a great job. Hello, thank you. Um, I, you know, it was the way I was introduced into the world. And again, I think we're so consumed with gossip and drama and who they're dating and who they're sleeping with and this and that, you know? Um, so I think people just kind of stuck with that. I think there's a slight obs obsession in, in society with, with, with people's relationships. Um, but again, I just, are you done with red carpet relationships? Are you? I mean, not that for not, a while. For a while, and that's why I've chosen to be single right now because I'm just like I, I'm in this glow up face. I love it. I love <laughs> it. And I've been talking to my therapist like, what is going on with me? Like, I'm, I, I want to be single. I want to focus on me. I'm, I'm, I'm having these thoughts and these feelings. And she's like, you're stepping into your power. Ah, oh, like, I love oh, that. I, I love, love that. that. I like, love that. And so a part of your glow up now includes another business. Um, you're designing under the, the moniker. It, it's, uh, it's K by Carucci. Yes. Where did this come from? Um, I was approached with this opportunity to start a uh, jewelry line. And I was like, I never thought I was gonna have a jewelry line. And I was like, wait, absolutely. Like, I love jewelry. I love um, being able to layer and, and accessories and everything. And it's been great so far. I've got my earrings on today. I love those. Those um, are beautiful. Forgot my rings, but I got, you know, we got toe rings, a little bit of everything. It's been so much fun creating. I love it. I love the layers of it. I have to be honest, we were at the Ebony Power 100 and we were both honored to be on the list. And I remember looking at your rings the whole time. I, okay, I'm gonna steal that look. Okay, one here, one there, one here, one there. <laughs> it looks beautiful and it, it is delicate and dainty. Talk to me about these red carpet looks. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just continue to pull them out. Tins, <laughs> is it a style team? What's your inspiration? Like um, this, what inspired this today? It's beautiful. Today I styled myself. My dress. That's gorgeous. <laughs> my dress is Zimmerman. Uh, my shoes are Gian Victor Rossi. What's funny is I started off as a personal stylist like maybe 10, 12 years ago. So I've always had a love and passion for fashion. So now um, I work with a stylist or maybe I'll style myself. And it's a very much like a, a team effort. Even with hair and makeup, we always like, okay, well, what are we wearing? Well, let's do, I've got a high collar on today. So we're gonna do an updo. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun it's to create looks. It's an interesting thing for your style team to work with you knowing you were a stylist. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you lay out the looks? Uh, I, so I'll talk about what I saw you in the, the, the fluffy um, white dress from Ebony. Ebony. It was yeah. beautiful, stunning. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are petite. Yes. And you carried it off, which Thank is you. not easy to do when right. there's a big look and you wear big fashion looks. Thank you. I mean, I love one thing that's important for me is 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 wearing um, the perfect outfit for my body because I'm short. So I like things to like elongate like my legs. And that look actually, we tried on several other outfits before that. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just try that on. Let me see what it looks like. And we tried it on. We're like, ooh. It's like, say yes to the dress. <laughs> Have you ever watched that? It's, this, these brides will try on 100 dresses. And it's literally, or at least they edit it to make me believe it was the last one that saved the day. Yeah, totally. But I love that. So next up, you have the line, you're acting. When you look at your glow up from 10 years ago to where you are now, mm -hmm. how do you describe it? Mm. Um, ooh, wow, what a question. I, 
I will say I'm still glowing up. I'm still on that journey. Um, and it's all about just, for me, finding myself, what I want, what I don't want, my likes and desires, um, focusing on my craft, perfecting my craft, acting. Um, now that the world's kind of opening back up, I'm gonna get right back into my acting classes and hopefully book that next big role. Aww. Uh, <laughs> And I, like I said, I'm just having a moment in life right now. So also outside of work, like I'm just having fun and exploring new things. You know, I'm taking floral design classes. Floral design? Yeah. I love I, that. I love flowers and I've always been interested in like okay. creating um, bouquets and stuff. So I've just... So we'll have flowers things. by Carucci. That'll be your yes. next thing. <laughs> well, listen, congratulations. It is so wonderful to see your glow up. You've inspired so many other young women to Thank empower you. themselves, to live the life they want yes. and not what others expect you to do. So congrats on everything, Karuchi.